Good morning, everybody. How are we all today? Hope you're all okay. Two more weeks until we open. We've had a bit of a hectic morning this morning, so I've not been able to get the camera out too early. This is the first thing we're shooting, really. So we've done a bit of a reorganizing in the courtyard to this morning space to do stuff basically so um jackie's wall finishing coats have been put on there ready for the special bit that's going into the middle which will be done later on this week so yeah we've tidied up this area over here so you've just seen me cut up all that pallet that was here and that's now being cut up and then chopped into kindling for the fire so that's free kindling for the fire which has saved us quite a bit of money to be honest and then if we go outside, Jackie is busily cutting up. What are you doing? Trying to not chop my fingers off. Okay, folks, I have redone the form or the mold, whatever you want to call it, for the top. So basically what I've done is I've flipped it over. So the face the top of the bar top will be face down. So when I pour the resin, it'll have a nice flat surface, which will be there. I've had to change the dog leg around because I've done it that way now. Um, and I've also allowed about two mil to three mil all the way around, probably a bit like four mil on certain places, all the way around so that when I put the bar top into the mold there'll be a gap all the way around the edge so when i pour it we'll have a nice resin edge it's all siliconed on the edges on the inside silicon on the edges on the outside that's going to dry it's now 240. if i let the, that silicon cure for about four hours as long as the silicon's dry then hopefully i can get it poured tonight and that way it can be setting overnight <clears throat> curing overnight for the first one I've got, once that silicon's dry I've also got to run tape over the bits of timber that's not got any tape on and all the tape does is that shiny surface that you can see there it just stops the epoxy resin sticking to the timber shuttering so when I take it off or break off the shuttering then it won't be stuck to the wood that's the idea behind the tape um, so yeah let's go with that fingers crossed it all works I'm a, I'm a lot happier with that shuttering now. The mould um, is, is going off, it's curing, so the silicon's there. It's still a little bit tacky, and that's going to be the wettest bit to dry there because I had to put a massive, great big blob in there. So I think, unfortunately, that might not be dry till tomorrow now. Been working out some other stuff, and top behind the bar, which um got to do all the little snagging behind the bar now so i've got to put some shelving across here um this has got to be chopped down by that much i've got to cut that off anyway to make that opening wide enough for fire regulations another hoop to jump through anyway bef before i put the the top back on i'm fixing that into place i'm going to put run a light under here as well so that we can see underneath the top and then I'm going to try and fix all these cables up to the top bit here so they're not out of the way. And um, yeah, we're all good. Um, someone mentioned on the last video about the pilot kit that we've got here. Yes, we will be brewing on this pilot kit in the coming weeks. We are waiting for a flue to go in there because at the moment we can't brew because the steam just fills this place. So I'm waiting for a flue to go on there. If I don't get a flue, then I might on, be on to Highbury 69 to have a look at making a condensing flue because we've got the drain there and the flue can go up and then out into here. Ideally, whatever it is, I want the flue to be able to be put onto the new kit once we order it in later on in the year and then I don't have to mess about with the flue because it'll just be the same one. So it needs to be able to be done. So I've, I've contacted someone at the moment I'm waiting for him to get back to me with regards to fitting that and then we can start brewing on the pilot kit and get it into these little tanks and then get get at least some beer of ours on which is uh, is key and critical and what the whole point of this is i'll just give you a quick tour into uh what jackie did before she left so she had to go and get the kids but uh 
she finished off in here. So obviously you saw in here the other day, uh, Mike Nixon had painted the doors, which are great. Um, but the door frames needed doing, so they've now been had the first coat on there, which makes that yellow pop look brilliant. So there we go. Door frames are painted first coat, which is grand. They look good, don't they? Prior access. And also, look at that. That's all been painted black as well. So that's good, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on uh, finishing this off in here. Okay, so it's home time now. It is quarter to nine in the PM. Managed to get um, the room sorted, squared away as much as we possibly can at the moment. Um, so put the tables back to where they should be going. Uh, there's a few little tweaks, obviously, because we've got to get to that far corner tomorrow to, to brick up the old fire exit. Uh, so I need access up there, but otherwise the tables will be pushed up, up up further along so there will be four four seaters along this side as opposed to three the other one is stuck over there at the minute so that will be going a bit further up here and um, it'll come to there um, the big long table in the moment is being used to support the resin mold which the silicon still isn't dry yet so i'm not going to chance it and put it in tonight so i'll i'll leave it for the silicon to dry overnight and then I shall set the resin tomorrow. We'll put the bar top in and I'll set the resin bar top tomorrow. So that'll be on tomorrow's video. Um, and then on the other side, the we've got a tool table and a lot of rubbish. Those boards that are propped up at the far side there, that's the bar top, which is going there. And then the other one is being used for finishing off the back wall, which is a nice surprise. And then there'll be two six seaters, which are those boards that are here on along this table here. There they are. They're being cut up and made into six seaters, just like the ones that are over there. That's what I've been up to this evening, um, sorting the space out. Also, I've managed to saw so this gap between the bar and the side had to be a minimum of 740, I think it was, or 750 mil. Uh, for fire escape regulations so all I did was move that over into there and chop the end off basically which uh, I've been promising to do for a while so it just needs um, a nice finishing piece putting on there a few people have asked about the brewing kit so I think I mentioned it earlier and um, so yeah you'll be, you'll be seeing that over the coming weeks that's me done for the day I'm off home now and we shall see you tomorrow for bricking up the old fire exit door and setting the bar resin top. So we shall see you tomorrow. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. <laughs>